The Ball Truth UK was made possible in part by GrowMD, Nanogen Hair Fibers, and Vibrotics Hair Follic, supporters of a safer, more consumer-centric hair loss and hair transplant industry. Hair loss. You know it sucks. So why not join the boys to bitch about it? Call in now to speak with Spencer and Specs. 0203-37246-83. This is the Bald Truth UK. I think what's really powerful is the fact that, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now is um, hard to articulate. But the fact of the matter is Peter had geared himself up to have surgery and it was really interesting that he said he's going to have to he was about to have it done and he's going to have to gear himself up again for this and and irrespective of what's going on in the world the mental aspects of having a hair transplant as as i know as any hair transplant patient right now knows as any hair transplant patient prior to you knows the emotional leap of faith that comes with finally wanting to take action and make this a reality and putting everything in place to have a surgery, a hair transplant surgery, is incredibly um, an emotionally draining process. And to have that all get up and you were about to have surgery imminently, to have that then taken back from you is very difficult. And, you know, well, I appreciate you calling into the show because you're one of countless patients, thousands, tens of thousands of patients that had gone through this process of getting ready for a surgery to have it taken away from them and they've got then they don't know when they're going to have that surgery again so emotionally i as a pair transplant patient know what it takes to gear up to it and get prepared and get psyched up and get everything in place the downtime the stories the the finances everything that comes with this and i think this story is uh, personifies and it's going to uh, people are going to identify with this story that peter's come to us with on so many levels and so many people and it's reassuring to know that the Harley Street Hair Clinic, um, who you know I advocate and have had surgery with, um, have been so supportive. I know they have, and I know they've spoken with all their patients and will reschedule as all you know good ethical clinics will and work with the patients with regards to getting them back in when they know, when any of us know this is going to happen. This is a, this is a collective issue that we all have. But what the bold truth enables patients to do is like Peter, fall in and talk and vent and enable us to give you some perspective and some hope and some guidance and some structure and some just just to be able to talk it through because I can imagine, um, I don't know this for a fact, Peter, but I can imagine that maybe there's not that many people that you can talk to about it or you've brought on board about the process. Am I correct? Uh, so, first of all, thank you for just actually listening. Uh, you are 100% correct because, obviously, uh, like I was saying before, there's going to be so many people out there who are, having, who are going through far worse than I'm going through. However, everything's relative, but you, you can't help but feel like a bit of an idiot. You know, you know, this has been years, years of grief, psychological trauma, mental health issues, you know, stress, depression linked to my hair loss. With this sort of end in sight, you know, it's been a sort of a, yeah. it's been a roller coaster ride to this point, and I'm still on the roller coaster. You know, sure. I, I, however, yeah. it, it, that, that's why well, I wanted well. to call the show because. That's can I talk to this? Who can I talk to about this sort of stuff? You know, I'm, I'm sort of keeping it under the radar anyway because there's this sort of feeling of shame connected with with hair loss, and not only that, the shame connected with it, with trying to rectify it because you're made to feel like you're some sort of, you know, vainglorious fool 